All right, the recording has started. So Waymont, if you wanna do the introduction. Well, hello everyone. And I'm glad to see that we have a turnout to listen about apprenticeships with the ABC construction. And you know, that was my introduction. <laughs> Mr. Lee, Mr. Dante Lee is going to present and talk to us now. Okay. All right, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Dante Lee, uh, the Director of Education for ABC Greater Baltimore's Chapter. Uh, I am also uh, a licensed and master electrician in Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. Uh, <clears throat> as we get into the, I guess, the weeds and we start this uh, evening, this meeting off this evening, uh, I, too, went through the apprenticeship program. So uh, I also like to encourage and inform everyone that the apprenticeship, although it's construction, there's many avenues and routes that can be taken once uh, starting the program. I'll tell you all a little bit about our apprenticeship program. We are located in Baltimore, about three or four blocks from John Hopkins High School here on Biddle Street, uh, 2101 East Biddle Street. At this facility here, uh, this is our main headquarters where we have uh, both uh, in-person classes and uh, hands-on training all done here. Also at this location, uh, individuals are allowed to uh, do tours uh, from other facilities that normally come here. Uh, the contractors and the companies that hire, they're also here in the building as well, occasionally. Um, but we also have another location for our electricians, which is uh, down on Austin Street, a few blocks away from the stadium. And we also have a location in CCBC Community College in Owens Mills location. Um, we offer electrical, plumbing, HVAC, carpentry, sheet metal, and sprinkler fitting all here at this location. Uh, each one of our trades is four years long. Each student and individual have to be in class for a minimum of 144 hours. Uh, with that being said, we have uh, classes that run uh, twice a week, and that's either Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, classes start around September. Uh, they go to about the end of end of March. Uh, one day is in person. The other day is online. We also offer a accelerated program, which starts in January, it actually starts on the 23rd, which is next Monday. And that particular program, uh, same trades, uh, and it goes until June. That's for the individuals that possibly didn't have all their credentials together in order to start in September. Uh, those credentials are a driver's license, a high school diploma, uh, a doctor's note uh, from your regular therapist or, uh, or doctor just stating that you are physically capable of working in the construction trade. And then a letter of reference from your previous or current employer uh, just stating that you or that individual is a good worker and dependable. Does anybody have any questions so far? If you don't have a diploma, um, and if to say you dropped out of school or um, you earned a certificate of program completion, would that be accepted in place of the diploma? I mean like a GED? Um, no, the, the students that, that leave us in the school system can either earn a diploma or a certificate. Um, so it's, it, it's not, it's non-graded in other words. So, I mean, that, that diploma rule, is that hard and fast or do you work with students? Well, we normally work with students. So, uh, and each student and individual is different. So, but, uh, most of the time we do our best to work with the individuals, uh, who may have, you know, come up short on receiving a high school diploma. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. We, yeah. we have another question. Um, Laverna Wilson has her hand up. Yes. I don't know if we want it. Do we want to save questions till the end or do, I don't know how we want to, what do you think's easiest? If I could just, I'll probably keep the questions down to like two or three on each break. That way I get some of them out of the way. Okay. Okay. My question was, 
for uh, my son, he will be graduating in June. So I wanted to know how often do the programs, how often is it off, off, offered? So as I mentioned, so we have a program, the bulk of uh, our students start place in September. Uh, we have about 428 already started in September. And then in January, those individuals that didn't have that paperwork or things in, uh, they would start in January. And right now that we have like 44 of them coming in next week. Uh, outside of that, uh, the students will have to wait until the fall again. Now we do offer, uh, outside of apprenticeship, we offer something called trade school. So if an individual's not quite sure what trade they want, like they kind of torn between electrical and plumbing, uh, they can enroll into our trade school program, which starts in July. And that would allow them to uh, get a field of electrical, carpentry, HVAC, and plumbing. And then once they complete that program, that's only about two months, two months long. And after they complete that starting in July, they would then roll right into the September uh, program. I, I must say that I hadn't heard of that before, Mr. Lee, and that does sound interesting. Do the do the students pay for that? I don't uh, know no, why my so, camera's not working now. So go they, ahead. So they do have they do have to apply ahead of time because we are partners with CCBC. Uh, so one of the benefits of this is uh, after completing four years of apprenticeship, you will then uh, since we're partnering with CCBC, you'll then obtain about. Uh, between 28 to 32 college credits that you can use. So as I mentioned, us partnering with CCBC, when you apply for the trades program, they will assist with uh, tuition because you have to have an employer in order to receive funding from an employer, but CCBC will then step up uh, if you meet the requirements with them uh, and they will cover your tuition. And if I could also offer this too, again, there's only my neck. Hi there. <laughs> is that um, that my understanding is that the young person needs to be 18 years of age, correct? That is correct. Okay. I just wanted to be sure that the families knew that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So I'll kind of, I'll keep going for now. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, with us being partners with CCBC, after completing the application and making a decision if you're going to go to trade school or or come right in. Each each individual can apply by going to uh, www.abcbaltimore.org. They would then fill out an application. Once completing that application, they'll get a notification back from us, informing them on the documents that they have to bring in. Uh, once they they'll start corresponding with our uh, coordinators here they'll then set them up for what we call an apprenticeship interview. During that interview, what they'll do is uh, have them take a, a short math test, uh, about 30 questions, because of course, in the construction field, measurements are very important. So uh, we like to help them out with that. Keeping in mind that some individuals enrolling in school could have possibly been out of school, graduated, you know, five, six, seven years ago. So, if someone is unsuccessful doing the math test, that does not uh, disqualify them from enrolling into the program. However, what we do is we enroll them into a math class uh, that's partnered with ABC. So on their off days of school, they would then attend this math class to assist them with strengthening uh, their math skills. Now, uh, outside of that program, as I mentioned, uh, the, the contractors do cover tuition. Thanks for the email. I mean, for the uh, website link. The instructors and the contractors, I apologize, do cover the tuition. However, each student is allowed to miss up to four days. If they miss more than four days, they will be removed from the program. Each student also is required to have a 70 average or better. So if they don't uh, score 70 or better, once again, they'll be required to repeat the year. Uh, a company will not uh, pay for a student to repeat the same year twice though. Yes, 70 or better. Uh, 
We also are uh, affiliated with the NCCER curriculum, which most public and high schools uh, are already use, especially the ones that offer like trades. So the curriculum, most of them will be familiar with. And the instructors here, some of them are already graduates. Uh, most of them are still in the, in the field. So they have the understanding of what it's like to work during the daytime and then come to school in the evening. So as I mentioned, our classes run from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that is twice a week. So most of the time what the students do are, is um, they get off of work. Most of them finish, I say, 2.30, 3 o'clock and then they normally come straight to school. Uh, our location here, uh, we, they are allowed to eat, so you know, they have the ability to you know, bring something to eat with them to class. We offer vending machines uh, as well, and like snack machines here. Anybody have any questions? No. Okay. So could you also mention that they do receive a salary, Mr. Lee, from the, the, the company that they're getting their apprenticeship with? Yes. So the salary uh, that they are given when hired uh, is pretty much between that individual and the company. Uh, it could be off of entry level experience. You know, they could have already had a job. So they normally they normally negotiate their own salary when when being hired. However, uh, we do have something uh, within the construction trade called prevailing wage. Prevailing wage is when you're working on a state, federal, or government job. These jobs are what they call uh, a privilege, right? To where the company could hire you at $18 an hour, which it seems to be around the start and pay for most entry level. Then what happens after that is if you are chosen or selected to go to a prevailing wage job, you're then able to receive 50% uh, as a first year apprentice, you receive 50% of what the journeyman on the job makes. So some jobs are now paying about $60 an hour. So this first year apprentice, once put onto this job, may have the ability to go from making 18 to $30 an hour. But as I mentioned, I try to inform people that uh, Presentation, meaning your appearance and your attendance is very, very, very important because, like I say, when you're chosen or selected to go to a job like that or some of these companies, um, an evaluation is done every day. So you tend to miss a lot of time, then there's a possibility you won't remain on something like a prevailing wage job. So um, another thing going back to the driver's license is uh, constructions or all projects, right? So an individual could be hired to work at a location maybe five minutes from their house. However, once that project is over, they could be transferred or then moved to another location, which may be in Hagerstown, Maryland. So now this individual has to find a way in transportation to get from one location to the other. Anybody have any questions? Did you see the little question I put in the chat box? <laughs> so that they understand the process of how they get with the contractor. Oh, so what happens is I said after the interview, uh, what happens is if you, let's say you choose an electrical trade, then uh, the staff here will then assist you with giving, or with giving you four or five contractors who are actually hiring at the time. You'll then be able to contact them. We'll notify them to look out for an email from you. Then they'll bring you in for an interview. Once you choose or are selected for an interview um, or hiring, you just inform us or the company will send a letter saying that they hired you. And then uh, from there, um, an invoice will be sent to the company that you're working for. I got a question. Okay. Do you make a knowledge of engineering? So do we offer engineering? 
No, no, yeah, no, a pre nova engineering. You have to take like, an engineering class. Uh, we do not. Uh, only the few trades that I mentioned. However, uh, electrical engineering is uh, a course that a lot of individuals take. So as they're receiving college credits uh, from, from attending here, some people do go back for like engineering class to like CCBC or even uh, to receive their associate's degree because they already obtained, you know, 32 credits. Uh, uh, no, I mean, like, uh, you have to take a engineering class to get the job. Or no, you don't have to take an engineering class to get the job. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. And, and you also briefly touched on the part about uh, getting them themselves to the job. Our young people we're finding are less interested in getting a driver's license. I know this sounds pretty foreign to those of us who couldn't wait until we were 16, but um, could you talk about that? Because I find myself talking about that with young people. <laughs> yeah, and you need to. Go ahead. We, we, we are also affiliated and connected with um, an organization that helps with getting a driver's license. And some of them even offer uh, like cars not giving them cars, but assisting with helping them get a car. So a driver's license is very, very important. Um, so I'll definitely stress that. As I mentioned, uh, the job sites are somewhere, sometimes far out to where um, public transportation doesn't go. You know, you can expect it to be on the job site by uh, 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. So um, a car, transportation, and driver's license is going to be highly important. And uh, I think someone was asking, so the apprenticeship program is four years long. We offer carpentry, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, sheet metal, and sprinkler fitting. And at any given time, if someone, uh, even after this, if someone is interested in receiving more information, uh, you can contact me by uh, email or through the website. And if needed, you know, I can... Set up a tour, maybe walk you through the building, give you some more insight on uh, the apprenticeship program in person. Can you um, say your email address so I can put it in the chat box, please? It's uh, D-L-E-E -E at abcbaltimore.org. Thank you. Yep. Yes, we definitely offer tours uh, here, doing work hours between uh, 9 a.m. and uh, 4 p.m. If, if you could let me know also, I wasn't aware that you were giving classes. Now you're giving them also at Biddle. How are the classes divided with where they're being taught? For instance, which ones are at CCBC, which ones would be at Biddle Street, that sort of okay, so division? So Austin Street, uh, that's one of our partners, which is MC Dean is electrical. So Austin Street has uh, electrical only years three and four. Uh, CCBC, they all depend on the amount of enrollments that we have. But like right now we have like electrical and plumbing at Owens Mills and uh, the rest of the trades are normally held here. Excuse me, we don't have um, the hands-on portion at Owens Mills. So we try to uh, keep most of our locations and training done here at this location between this one and Austin Street. One of the things that I have suggested to families that are looking at plumbing, electrical, when they, if you go online to, on Google, you can actually find the practice tests that'll give you a feel about where the math needs to be. Does that ring a bell, Mr. Lee? Have you ever suggested that? I mean, I've looked at them. Yes, so there is a practice test online. Uh, most times uh, individuals will inform us on uh, if they need to brush up on something like that. But most times uh, we have individuals that's coming like right out of high school, let's say. so. 
most people don't always go in there and take it. Uh, some people just kind of want to come in and see exactly what it is uh, that's listed on uh, the math test. But it's definitely it's definitely an option if you choose to do so. Um, and most times when people come in for a tour or we had the conversation on the phone, we just kind of give them an idea on what to practice or brush up on. And the math, the math and the subtraction is pretty easy. I mean, the addition and the subtraction is pretty easy, but uh, we remind them that there are word problems in, included in it in fractions. Are they allowed to use calculators? They are. They're given a calculator. Uh, no phones are allowed, so they are given a calculator. Oh, great. Can you maybe um, tell parents how to go about scheduling a tour? Uh, sure. When you go into the website, uh, you'll see a link for a uh, site coordinator or education coordinator. Uh, you can then email them and uh, th they'll schedule you a tour. More likely they'll CC me on it or they inform me uh, to make sure I'm available to do so. Um, I had one one more question. Okay. Uh, my my son is currently he's um graduating senior. Um, he is seventeen. He will be eighteen in July. So in order for him to apply, do he have to wait till he's eighteen to apply, or can he apply? You know, for that um, class coming up in I think, did you say August? Was it August you said? July for the trade school. Yes. Yes. He, the, he he turns 18 July 11th. He he can actually apply now. Like I said, he's had he should have just about everything, uh, minus his diploma if he hasn't graduated yet. But he definitely can apply now, and uh, someone will you know sort of like be walking with him step by step until he graduates or he reaches the age of 18. Okay. But some individuals are hired at the age of 17, so that won't that that won't stop and won't affect them. Okay, so the website you gave um, that for the site coordinator contact her. Yes. For that. Okay, and he he will have to drive his license very soon. Yeah. In a car. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's all I have. Uh, you, she's listed my email. So if anyone has any other additional questions or want more information feel free to reach out to me uh, directly and I'll do my best to assist you. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Lee. I think this has been very helpful. I actually learned a couple of things myself. So, you yeah. know, who knew? Yeah. <laughs> it does happen. <laughs> yeah. does, does anybody else have any more questions that, before we let Mr. Lee have his evening? Uh, no. All right. We're good. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. All right. Thank you all for joining. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Bye -bye. Thank you. We're dismissed. Oh, 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 oh. Well, we had a question real quick. Uh, no, I was, saying, I was just saying bye. Oh, OK, good. <laughs> uh, are we dismissed? Unless you have any more questions. Uh, no, no. Uh, good night, good. everyone. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.